Hello everyone, Frelex here. The pushing of the transhumanism agenda continues. I have already made several videos this year covering the push of the transhumanism agenda, and this video is yet another example of the normalization of this agenda. For anyone who doesn't know, the transhumanism agenda is an agenda being pushed by the elite through means such as predictive programming in order to push humanity into this direction and to accept transhumanism as the natural progression of the human race, thus lessening the chance of any possible resistance to the idea from the public. Today's video is about this article from Newsweek titled Elon Musk launches Neuralink startup to connect your brain to the internet. The article says, Billionaire Elon Musk now has plans to connect our brains to computers. The PayPal founder and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX believes humans need something called neural lace in order to compete with artificial intelligence. In order to achieve this, Musk has launched the startup Neuralink, according to a report on Monday in the Wall Street Journal. Neuralink was registered as a medical research firm in California last July and is being privately funded by Musk. According to the report, leading academics and neuroscientists have been brought into work on developing the neural lace. The technology involves implanting electrodes into the brain in order to create a wireless brain computer interface capable of augmenting natural intelligence by downloading or uploading thoughts to or from a computer. Musk has spoken frequently about the existential risk artificial intelligence poses to humans. At the 2016 Code Conference, Musk warned that humans risk being treated like house pets by artificial intelligence unless we add neural lace technology to compete with them. I don't love the idea of being a house cat, but what's the solution? I think one of the solutions that seems maybe the best is to add an AI layer. Something I think is going to be quite important. I don't know of a company that's working on it seriously. Musk said a neural lace would work well and symbiotically, with the rest of a human's body acting as a merger between biological and digital intelligence. The concept of a neural lace was first described in the 1987 culture novels by science fiction author Ian M. Banks, who detailed the futuristic mesh that molds to the human brain in order to allow neurons to be programmed. The technology now has a basis in real science. With one version of the interface idea published in Nature Nanotechnology in 2015. The paper described a flexible circuit that could be injected into the brains of living mice in order to interact with neurons. We're trying to blur the distinction between electronic circuits and neural circuits, said Charles Lieber, a researcher at Harvard University and co-author of the study, We Have to Walk Before We Can Run. But we think we can really revolutionize our ability to interface with the brain. As you can see, the push of the transhumanism agenda is becoming more increasing and shows the grim future we are heading towards. As the article mentions, this began as science fiction, but is now being pushed as real science. This is a clear example of predictive programming and shows that ideas and concepts being pushed by the elite are put out as fiction in the beginning and then eventually become a reality that we must face. It is done in this method to lessen the chance of rebellion and to program society to accept these changes as a natural progression. To think that these signs just happen to coincidentally fall in line with all the symbolism of the agenda is hard to believe. By now you should know that when it comes to the elite, there are no coincidences. For more content like this in the future, 
subscribe to my channel, as well as my backup channel. If you enjoyed the videos, remember to share it, hit the like button, and leave a comment. If you wish to support the channel and want some more in-depth, comprehensive, and controversial content, please support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Relax.